Good morning and welcome back to Crafty With It or welcome if you're new. Today I have wine bags that I need to make for my vendor show that is coming up. So, I have a couple different colors. I've got pink. I've got teal. And then I have a gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the bag. And see where I want the design to be. Okay, so here's the top. So I know I want to be below that. So I would say about seven long. And about three and a half. So let's do seven and three and a half. And I am actually going to write that down. Let me just look at each bag real quick. Let's do it from this way. This one seems to be a little bit bigger. No, it's not. Okay, let's look at this one. Alright, so they're pretty much all the same. Okay, so what I'm going to start off with, I have... I'm going to bring you along on making my first design that I'm going to make. So I'm going to bring you over to my computer screen now. Seven. I'm going to lock this now because I do not want it to change. And then I am going to hit the make it. Then I'm going to go for any material. And I don't need anything bigger than my 12 by 12, so that's what I'm going to use. And I always bring it over from the corner just a little bit. We are going to need to mirror this design. So over by Project Copies, we're going to go at Basic Cut Materials on Matte. It's on my 12 by 12 matte, and then I'm gonna hit Mirror. So now my design has mirrored because I'm using HTV to apply it to the wine bag. Then we're going to wait for our machine to load where it's connecting machine. It's connected to my Maker 3 through Bluetooth. And then I always choose the heat transfer non-cricket you could choose the everyday iron on. I typically, each maker's different, but so you would have to um, decide if you wanted more pressure, or less press pressure, but I leave mine at default. And then we're going to go over and we're going to get our supplies ready to cut our image. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my mat for my HTV color that I want, I'm going to do black. Because I think I'm going to put it on the hot pink one. And we're going to cut the HTV. So it, the width is seven and a half. So I'm gonna cut my HTV to eight. Clean. 
clean. And then we're going to load it onto the mat. I always hang up my sheet up against one of my old ones. You're going to want to use, there's a glossy side and a matte side. Make sure you're putting the glossy side with HTV down. It's a little wrinkle, but let's see if my brayer actually takes it out. It did. Can you hear the bubbles popping? Okay, so now we're going to take it over and put it on our Cricut and cut it out. Okay, I have it sitting in my Cricut. The button's blinking for me to load it. So I'm going to load it. It's going to do its thing. And then once it's done measuring the mat, my play button will light up. And then I'm going to hit that. And then it'll go in and it'll cut. The thing that's out lately is these little peeps. You can get bigger ones too, but I got these ones and it's got the peep. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the peep on there. And I was thinking about putting Eloise's name on it for her Easter basket this year. So I don't think I'll sell them, but they are super cute. I did put them up on Facebook, but I didn't have any blades, so I don't think I'm going to just make, make some for my granddaughter. And then I'm going to get the bag and we're going to prep the bag. <clears throat> I'm going to put this one on hot pink. So with this, I'm... I'm going to lint roll it. I lint roll no matter what. If it's HTV, if it's sublimation. Because you never know what's stuck on there. Let's see, you get some red. So it's just better to lint roll it. I'm going to plug my press in. Turn it on. Here's all everywhere today, guys. Sorry about that. I've got size stickers everywhere because I uh, packed on my stock to take downstairs. I put them all in plastic bags. They're all in plastic bags, and I put the size on there so I can just grab what I need. These, these ones are for an order, so they're still up here. It is almost done cutting. I think I need more lighting in there. It's super dark. I made a shirt for my dad this morning, so that's why this is out. It's a birthday present, so I... I can't show you and I couldn't videotape it because he watches my stuff. So I'm going to take the mat. Let me bring you down so you guys can see this. I always flip the mat over and roll the mat. I don't roll the HTV. This is the same with vinyl because we don't want it to roll on us. Just put my plastic sheet back over top of my mat. Okay, so we only cut on half of this. That's so cute. I might keep one for myself. 
So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to cut the other part off so I can use it as at a later time. Oh, yeah, I turned. <laughs> For a second there, I forget, thought I forgot to turn my heat press on. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to start weeding this out. I always start from the corner. These are not going to go up on my website or onto Etsy. I'm just going to sell them at my vendor show that I'm doing on the 11th. But I do have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, kids tops, onesies, tumblers, card decals, and all that on my website. And then I have three different Etsy's. I got crafty with it. Then I have, and that is my tumblers and car decals in my coffee cups. I have Crafty With It CT on Etsy. That is my t-shirts, my hoodies, my t-shirts, my hoodies, and my sweatshirts. Then I have Crafty With It MI. And that is all my kids tops and onesies. So if you want to go check it out on Etsy or my web page is www.craftywithit.com I greatly appreciate it. I did get this off of Creative Fab this design off of Creative Fabrica. I will have the link in the description. I do get a small amount if you sign up. Full disclaimer. But I really like all their designs. And if you sign up for if you sign up for it, you get the designs for I wanna say it's $9.99 a month right now for your subscription. And the designs are free. And you get the license that comes along with it. With all the designs. So it's well worth it. I use it quite a bit. So go check it out. If it's something you're interested in. So let's take a look at it. Make sure everything is weeded off of it. it looks pretty good. Okay, so I don't think my heat press is heated just yet. It is almost there. It's at 248 right now. So everybody's raving about these new HT. HT Rants heat presses. I would love to get one of those. It's just not in the cards right now. But it would make it so much easier. I would get burnt so much less, I think. But we shall wait. Oh, I think I made it a perfect size, everybody. Just waiting for that heat press to heat up. I'm gonna make sure I've got the. It is ready. It's 316. It has the StarCraft clamshell press, the swing away. I do love it, but.
but it takes up a lot of room when you're working. So that's why I was thinking that new HT Rant would be great. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to tighten it down a little bit. Oh yeah, it also, it also has the auto tighten, auto pressure gauge. I tightened it too much. Oops. Okay. I'm going to do this for 15 seconds at 315. I'm going to take the plastic off and I'm going to do it for another 15 seconds. Just to adhere the HTV to the material a little bit more. Looking good. Oh, and don't forget your butcher paper. I use butcher paper. The ones that's not used for sublimation can be reused. If you're just using them for HTV, you can reuse them over and over again so you're not... Okay, sorry about that, folks. My card seems to be full on my camera. But this is the end result. I really like it. What do you guys think? Comment below. And then I've got probably about 10 more of these to make. I'm not going to do the same ones for each one. I've got different scenes for each one. But yeah. Thank you for following along on Crafty With It. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to be notified when I have my next video up. And I'll see you next time on Crafty With It.